Hi, what's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing today? It's your boy, Nitin, back with another video, as you can see. And today, the topic of this video is what is evil? What is greater good really stands for and who is the devil let me go ahead and light this joint first and foremost As you all know, by the universal law of polarity, there is two pole, two side, good, bad, righteousness, wickedness. Greater good, wretched, evilness. With that being said, evil is the opposite of living. That's what people think at least. Just because L I V equals to E V I L. But that's not the whole part. Evil doesn't mean just to live live reversibly or just to live below your means. But Evil also means that you strive to be more than that you are. You strive for boundlessness and more on and so on and so. Just like greed, gluttony. These are all evil virtues. And there are some more there too, like this. It's like taking over God and creation as we all know it. And those who dares to do it are called devils. But we are not here to talk about those devilish people so called the evil wicked people the minor ones we are here to talk about the evil the devil and the greater good And I let the creator as it be. So yeah, let's start with the evil part first. What is evil? Anything that is opposed to normal living is supposed to be evil or something. I think so. And now the devil himself in the flesh. Who is the devil? 
and they release the person who doesn't feel much appreciated or you know feel upwards and up this in all the ways possible even though he is the supremacist And you all know, the devil is the dark person. He doesn't associate with anyone, nor does he have a partner, nor does he intend to have one any day sooner. In another world, David is a kind of a dark lord or something, you know. I'm talking about the devil himself in the flesh. The devil doesn't deny the greater good. That doesn't make him the devil. The devil stands, doesn't even do something called lesser good or that sort of thing. What the devil really stands for is the greatest good. And for that, the greatest good of all things, if you have to defy the nature of any kind, even if it's own nature that we're being talked about, he doesn't even care or give a second thought about it. That's what makes him the so-called bad devil. Because he also defies his own nature. His own beliefs and existence and all of those things. Because he understands the absolutity of the things. And the way towards the absolution that doesn't make him anything like the lesser good or the wicked of that sort just because he wants something more than the greater good now what is greater good at last, greater good is something that brings equality and harmony amongst all the existence, amongst other things. Those, those are the two most important aspects of the creator of God. Equality and harmony. Because both are the same things in face of another. Where there is equality, there is harmony. And if there is, is harmony, there is equality also there. So yeah, that brings us end of the discussion for today. So yeah, see you.
and those evil peoples the evil workers that we talked about earlier they are just viruses in the existence they have no play, right place to exist they are just viruses of the system and we all know the viruses how they should be they should stay dormant for the rest of the dawn of the time for the greater good if we are on that topic but I thought we are on much higher path than that so yeah with that being said I'll be seeing you in some other time peace